This tournament, Paul, from a North American point of view, I mean, it's really, it's right up there now, isn't it? It is, yeah. Look, we have 30 tournaments across the country last year, and, and right now we're full swing in the tournament season, uh, all leading up probably end of July. Most of the tournaments will be wrapped up, and we'll then go straight into our own national finals. The Nationals are in Leesburg, Virginia this year, just outside Washington DC, uh, really looking forward to it. We, entries have closed and it looks like we have a record number of entries. Uh, not sure how we're going to handle them all into a schedule of uh, seven time slots per day. But I don't envy we'll, you that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get them all played. Look, at the end of the day, last year we had uh, 85 full championship games in uh, Philadelphia. We had uh, 20 championship finals, you know, and it's all about getting games. Having um, no cups at the end of the day. Absolutely, but it's also about the providing the games, and you do that every year. You provide yeah. so many games, and is the standard gone up, or is it my imagination? Because you, you see lads like this here, and the, the areas like the wild geese, and you know, five years ago they didn't really have a team like this, and all of a sudden now they're there, and there's new teams coming up all over the place. Yeah, look, the the, the, the standard defines, but it defines itself. You know, you see at home like the standard of what people think football is like at home varies, you know, and it's perspective driven. At the end of the day, we care about getting people on the field. The standard is going to be what the standard is going to be. It's about getting numbers on the field, and we have phenomenal growth. This year we moved to a per player registration where people register themselves individually. We have over 5,000 players registered this year. That's uh, incredible. You know, 5,000? And, and over 50% of American born. Wow. You know, that never played the game in Ireland, that never grew up beyond. And, and that, that number's only increased, and that percentage is only going to increase. And when you talk about that, and many native born American players playing Gaelic games, that brings me to the World Games. Yeah. And your teams are all, all native. native born, yeah. That's yeah. an interesting thing, if you could maybe explain to me that, because a lot of areas around the world, the international units will be sending Irish players back, but your teams are all native-born. All, all native-born. You know, we, we, we want to encourage na native participation, and, and that's what it's about. You know, um, there's plenty of opportunities for Irish-born people to play games before they come out here. Uh, they have played games in Ireland. The, the native-born is, is where we're investing our future, and, and that's why we restricted our entries to the, to the World Games to be native-born only.